welcome everybody to a new episode of Diagnose Dan. Helping me today is my son, Hanny. Hi guys. And my daughter, Gesina. Hello, if you're ready. Okay guys, we'll be using the Autologic today and uh, see what kind of codes are in here. Well, actually, there are no codes at all. Okay guys, so we've got no fault codes, so uh, let's fire up the engine and see what it sounds like. Okay guys, so we've got an intermittent fault, we've got no fault codes, the engine is running now, and actually it's not running all that bad, but remember, it was an intermittent fault code. Okay guys, don't you worry, we're gonna put a hose on the car. If you're standing over by the engine, it looks like it's actually running quite fine, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but in the exhaust you can actually hear it misfire. Okay guys, so we heard the car misfire, uh, we've got no codes, so which direction should we go? Is it spark, is it fuel, is it mechanical? So uh, I suggest the first thing we're gonna do is put it on the gas analyzer. Okay guys, so I've got the car hooked up to a gas analyzer right now. I'm using my 10 analyzer today. And if we take a look at these readings, there's hydrocarbons that are actually unburned fuel coming out of the exhaust are quite high. So I'm thinking toward a no spark condition right now. Okay guys, so we're going towards an uh, ignition problem right now. Uh, there are several tests for this, but um, we could do a cylinder drop test, but I don't think that's a very good test right now because it's an intermittent problem and probably is doing something on that cylinder. So um, I'm gonna use my, uh, my scope today. I use the uh, GMTO scope. And uh, we're gonna look at the secondary waveform right now. Okay guys, we'll be using this tool today and by putting them on top of the coils we can actually see the secondary waveform. So uh, let's do that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this tool on top of the coils. We'll see the secondary waveform. Look at the red line that will show a secondary waveform. We're starting at cylinder number one. Okay guys, here comes cylinder number one. And this actually looks quite good. Continuing with cylinder number two. Okay guys, I don't like cylinder number two. This is not normal, okay? Cylinder number three. Okay, looking okay guys. Cylinder number four. Okay, looking good. Cylinder number five, looking good. Cylinder number six. Okay, looking good, guys. Going back to the bed cylinder, number two, here it comes. You see how it doesn't match the other cylinders? There's a problem, guys. Okay, guys, so that cylinder number two has got our attention. We're looking toward that coil right now. Um, I want to do some extra measurements at the coil. I want to see what the current through that coil looks like. And for that I'm going to use my amp clamp. I'm going to set it to uh, 20 amps DC and uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay guys, although this is a very old car, a 1993 BMW, this coil on plug design is actually the same as you would find in any modern car. In this case uh, we've got a three wire system. Uh, this means inside this design there is a transistor and a transistor is basically a kind of a electronic relay so if the relay is put on the transistor is put on by the signal wire uh, current will be able to flow through our coil okay and I want to see what that looks like on our uh, suspect coil so uh, let's do that okay guys using my ADIS software today I can actually go brand specific, it will give me wiring diagrams and known goods. I will not select that today, I will just go for the scope and I will select uh, engine management, okay, and then ignition, coil unplug, we're gonna do a primary measurement, we've got a module, okay, we wanna measure current 
Okay, so we select that and it will actually tell you how to set up the scope and when we load this measurement it will actually give you a known good but be aware we didn't select brand specific so this gives you an idea of what it should look like but it's a generic picture okay guys so let's do this okay guys I got our amp clamp on the feed wire of our uh, number two coil and this is what our current looks like and guys this car needs a new coil okay you see the rise here in the beginning, the very high rise of the current. This is typical for a shortened secondary in a coil. It's not there on unknown good. Guys, we gotta change this coil. Okay guys, got my new coil over here. Gotta change the old one out. Very easy job. It's only two screws. Get the old one out, put the new one in. Reconnect the connector. Put the two screws back. Love this tool. Okay guys. Let's see if we got a fix. Okay guys, we uh, changed the coil out for a new one. Using the tool again to measure the uh, secondary uh, waveform on the fixed coil. Let's see. And this actually looks very good guys. We've got a fix. Okay guys, a little bonus material. Uh, got the amp clamp on the feed wire of our fixed coil right now and you see the change in current The rise that was there in the beginning is gone now This is what it should look like guys. This is a fix Okay guys, thanks for watching to this video if you liked it drop a like below comment with your nice reactions if you want to see more of my dad on this channel Subscribe to Diagnose Then. It's 103 and you can do it with the red button below. And I think uh, see you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.